Hi guys, today I am sharing my chicken and sausage gumbo. You'll definitely want to give this recipe a try. It's so flavorful. I wanted to make sure that this recipe was easy, but definitely didn't lack flavor. So basically all you have to do is chop vegetables and slice your sausage and throw it all in the slow cooker and let it do the work for you. You will need two cups of chicken broth, two boneless, skinless chicken breasts, and you don't want to slice that at all. That will help the chicken to stay nice and tender. Four lengths of smoked and dewy sausage. You can use chicken if you prefer. One 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes, one large green pepper diced, two stalks of celery sliced. You'll need one medium onion chopped, about one cup or so of okra sliced, one jalapeno pepper diced, and three cloves of garlic mixed. You'll need one bay leaf, two teaspoons of thyme, two teaspoons of oregano, and half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, oh yeah. You'll also need a little bit of salt and pepper. And then you'll just want to place everything in your slow cooker. It's super easy. I did want to say I know that traditionally gumbo has a roux and when I was playing with the recipe I originally made it that way but we all know that a roux takes time to get it to that nice chocolatey brown without burning it and most of my viewers are busy, busy moms who really just need a recipe that they can throw all together in the slow cooker and have dinner waiting for them either later in the evening or when they get home. So I made it without the roux and honestly it tastes so good. There is tons of flavor. I feel like it's a great consistency so you really don't miss it. But if you want to add a roux, feel free to do that as well. Also, this gumbo does have a little heat to it. And that's how Jen does it. I love a little spice and my kids have liked spicy food since they were younger so it works really well for us. But I know some of your little ones might not like spicy food. So what you can do is leave out the jalapeno pepper and the cayenne or just cut down the cayenne pepper a little bit and don't use any of the seeds in the jalapeno pepper. It is going to alter the taste somewhat. It won't be quite as flavorful, but there is still tons of flavor as you can tell. The green pepper, the onions, the thyme, the oregano is going to flavor it just fine, but I prefer it with a little kick. Once you've added everything to your slow cooker, you're going to mix everything up really well and then you're going to cover it and cook it on high for six hours. We just walked in the door and it smells amazing. <laughs> Look at this deliciousness. Tender vegetables, tender sausage, and the chicken is basically falling apart. You'll want to shred that just a little bit, but as you can see, it's really easy to do. You probably don't even need to take it out of your slow cooker. We like to spoon our gumbo over brown rice, but you can definitely eat it without the rice. It is fantastic. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. If you do, let me know. If you would like to see more slow cooker recipes, I have a playlist with, I believe, 30 slow cooker recipes in it, so definitely check that out. And I have a lot of other recipes on my channel as well, so check out my Cooking with Jen playlist. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.